Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Well, hello, my friends. Starting on setting up the lathe. Well, I found that board floating in the water. I grabbed it and Fatima, as usual, gave me a hard time about it. She's like, what are you going to be doing with that? It's like, it's wood. You need a hand? No, I think I got it. Okay. So this is going to be my base for my lathes to sit on at this elevation. Listening to some of you about the hesitation about me cutting this front lip down, which would have been fine, trust me. I would have not butchered it up, with, it would not look right. But either way, I took some advice. And also, it really didn't matter what I did in here. The lathe is still high. So I decided, okay, I can't lower the lathe. I can't fit the lathe in here because door opening. And this lathe is going to be staying set up. This shop is going to be set up indefinitely. So it's not like I have to take the lathe or hide it away on a regular basis. The only time that this will come back into being a sleeping quarters will be if I get too much company, which is not likely, too many couples coming at the same time, and I need the fourth bedroom. So other than that, this will be my workshop. There's still a lot of work to do in here. As you can see, I still have to arrange areas for certain tools that I want to have over here in the shop. I want my chop saw set up um, so I can make cuts for certain turnings that I want to do, balance it out or whatever. So anyway, that's where we stand as of right now. So stay tuned and we're going to make a little bit of progress, I hope. So anyway, what I plan to do, got a lot of stuff to put away though, and I gotta make racks for my tools. I gotta do a lot of stuff with this room. That's not going to all take place today for sure. But uh, a little bit at a time, we will get it done. Oh, it's on the shelf itself. Two and a half inches.
And then there were tools. More tools. <laughs> Shop vac is going to end up going down there too, so I can somewhat clean up. We need a new photo for this, so that's. Yeah. We should put that on the list. Yeah. Pull it to the middle, I'll grab it. No, oh, it's not that it's heavy, it's just clumsy. But I don't want to put it on here, so. Hold that. <coughs> Got it? Got it. Thank Have fun. You. Thank you. Yes, yes, life on the boat, you know, I'm getting a lot of rust, my blade is completely rusty, thank goodness this is all aluminum, so that's holding up, but we've got a lot of rust everywhere, we're going to address that, and good thing I got that new liquid to fight some of this corrosion, it's a good cleaning, and that will be it home, and I'll make shortcuts. Nothing big, but shortcuts on that. Uh, won't be bolted down. Uh, I'll be able to rotate it as I need. But anyway, I gotta cut two blocks for this at two and a half inches. And I would just take them out of this and the board would still be long enough but I do have a little bit of cracking here that could be an issue. Let me see what do I have for wood that I can cut up. Well, I know this would make a nice turning blank, but there'll be more where this came from. I am limited on wood. And like I said, I'm not gonna take it out of this because it has a crack over here on this end and a crack kind of down the middle which will not interfere with the strength of the the bench but it would interfere with uh, being on the end caps over here although if I put glue and screws on it it would hold it all together but uh, this is uh, six inches so if I cut it in half which is three it's just over the amount that I needed here, two and a half. So I will do that. tabletop to be right over here at the slip so the lathe it will clear this uh, what do I got one and a half and I got one and a half over there so that's what I'm gonna do
had uh, the inverter running just then. There might be a problem running certain tools if my generator is not on. As you can see, that's already twice that I've uh, shorted this out on a little cut like this. the uh, the lathe two hundred and fifty four PM is its lowest speed. I can hold it back at that speed, but I expected as much. But 420 RPM. All right, it's got a little bit of torque. Probably as much as my uh, Delta with a one and a half parts variable speed.
So let's see what this does, what kind of a mess it does. I can see this is going to uh, take some getting used to the uh, the turning will be a lot slower I cannot be nearly as aggressive as a matter of fact I have to be very light with this it does stall down even at the highest speed so it's all going to be taking some adjustment uh, on my part and making some very very mild cuts which will drive me nuts until i figure out a way around it so i will check this at the high speed belts and uh 
at the lowest settings on the, the drive and see how that behaves. But the way it is right now, uh, I am not going to be very happy with this. I mean, it stalls at the slightest bit of pressure. Here's test number one of the Nova Comet DR or 14 DR. One horsepower, and I'm not sure if it has it. Thanks, guys. We'll bring you back when I get all this refined and uh, vacuum system in here, because as you can see, I just started this just a little bit. One cut, two cuts on the chop saw, and already you can see why my reservations on the boat. And the biggest problem is actually what's underneath the floor and the engine compartment, which will need to be protected over here, over there. Test number one, how big of a mess can you make in 10 minutes and just a couple of cuts? <laughs> it will go quickly. Oh my God, I can just see it. This was just a test run, not anything that I was going to turn. But if I am doing a test run, I am looking at something that can be built with that. So we'll see what comes out of that little piece of cherry once all said and done. Take care. Uh, thanks for watching again, and we'll see you with some updates on the next video. Take care.